it. All right, and we are back for part three. This is green. Hopefully this video will be the, the last of the series and it'll be a three-parter for episode one. All right, and without further ado, let's just get right into it. <laughs> yeah, just, just let the horse go. That, that's cool, dude. Don't don't go toward the screams. Is don't do it. Let's play a little game, shall we? Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <laughs> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. What did he do to him? Didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? If I could just kill him now. A day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? You idiot! Lord? Shh! Listen! Stay hidden. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. All you need to do was look down the tree and find me. I would have ran. I should have been caught. I don't know what I've done if I would have ran. Meh, not worth it. Straight to him. I'm gonna go straight to the dude they tortured. I don't think I'm gonna look. And here I go. Oh, dude! That's horrendous! What kind of sick motherfucker? We're back to the kid. Yeah. Lord Ethan. Lord Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house. And your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. <sighs> These were your father's people to lead and protect? But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Can I choose the old one? 
Keep walking, you're going completely now. <laughs> Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. Oh, hell no. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Oh, shit. Lord Ethan. Mister. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! So you're gonna get all the attention. Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy. Go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who starve in come winter. I mean, that is true. We'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan. You must decide the punishment. Oh, Lord shit. Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. Oh. You can send him to the war. So, my choices are cut off three of his digits or send him to the wall? I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers! If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. What's up? It will be an injustice, my lord. Please. You're not innocent, actually. My family depends. I'm not gonna show mercy. I'm not taking his fingers. There's too many people. Where you will join the night's watch. No! Please, my lord! My family! Without me, they'll die! Maybe that wasn't the best decision. <laughs> That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? The wall seems like a fitting place for a thief. I only hope he doesn't find Garrett there and take his anger out on the poor squire. Shit! You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here, the Bracer of the Sentinel, the Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. <laughs> it would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Do I get to actually move or is it my movie? Like I love, I love that, but I also like moving around. I kind of like the Telltale games, like how they do their games is pretty cool. This power, maester. I wonder where I get the food. 
to Duncan. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. Uh oh. I made the count again, just to be sure. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. Sure. There are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. We talked about the food. So can I talk to you to figure out if I want you as my son? Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Okay, I like. You're all worthless and weak. Welcome. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord... Mm -hmm, mercy, I think this is a wall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. But he's an Duncan asshole. I would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. Just because she's as doesn't mean you're getting her help. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You said you'd get angry sometimes. This would have been a good time to see it. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. 
I have a feeling this decision is going to mean a lot of shit down the road. Like, that there's going to be some kind of... Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Um... But there's going to be a lot of, um, I don't know what I'm going to say. There's going to be a lot of shit for whatever I choose. So I think I already know who I'm going to choose, but I'm not 100%. I'm going to talk to Sir Swing left! Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know so dogs could hold swords. A word? Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. I haven't made my decision yet, but I appreciate your opinion. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Meeting tonight? At the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. I didn't say I was done talking to you. Whatever. Alright, I think I'm ready for this small council meeting. I can't just, you know... Keep going on. I go to every single thing. I do kind of want to go up in the tower. Oh, let's go in the tower first. And then I'll... Go to the meeting. I just want to see what's up here. Like why I can enter it. That's right. That means. Let me see if there's something like special. No, oh, it's just an overview of your little small area. I thought it might have been something important. All right. At this time for the small council meeting. Let me go to the maester and talk to him. You can lift them, yeah? Oh, shut up, Roland. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yep. Yes, maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. I kind of wish I would have asked his perspective, but... I don't think it really would have changed what I thought. I, I get that they both have their own um, means, like they both have their own um, good qualities, but I mean, if something happens, to Lord Ethan, whoever I choose would be his replacement. May may sit. Is what Finally, I'm getting. Lord Ethan has reached his decision. <laughs> Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. <laughs> Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought so hard. either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Yeah, it's, it's not really Duncan hard Tuttle. to choose. You will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This, this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. 
The Baltics need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. Oh, good thing I did. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. I will hear from my Sentinel. Please. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! God. My new Sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance, and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore! Forgive me, my lord, but you, you are, are not, not ready to be lord of this house! You asshole! Sit down at once. I mean, it is the Lord. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you. Where your sentinel belongs. <clears throat> then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. I have a feeling I probably made a wrong choice there. You have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. Yes, he has no desire. desire to rule. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said, Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the miller's boy by the neck, 
That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. I don't know, I mean... Was furious. But you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps. Especially now. True. I mean, he himself doesn't want to go get him. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. I feel like I need him here though. Ah, uh, fuck. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Am I stealing from Lady Marjorie? Oh, I'm bad villain. This is gonna bite me in the ass. I have a relation to the family seal. No, I'm not taking the family seal. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Uh. Thank you. Mira, look, the other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... Uh-oh, I don't like her look. I have a feeling it failed. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. How is King Joffrey, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. She mad at me? He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Oof. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. I am so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the king's help. Please don't hold it against me. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Yikes. Her poor family. My lady. Begging your pardon, my lady. 
I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... I do not trust that kid. People who'd be willing to help you. I didn't know it was coming. Looks like this video is gonna be a oh, excuse me, a long one. No, it's all right. Ugh. Where's Sir Roiland? The man values pride more than honor. Shit. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord! God, he must be terrifying to be a little... Oh, he's so ugly. It's horrible of me to say. Something wrong with your gate? I didn't think... I thought he would at least open the gate. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? Why the hurry? Are you cold? <laughs> you know I am a bit. Fortunately, there's no shortage of wood to burn around here. I don't want to let him in. I do not trust him. Thank you, my lord. Ugh. A token for the new warden of the north. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Uh. Carved by our most skilled craftsman. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <laughs> Seriously? Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could... Given learn. enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. I don't trust this guy. I do not like Ramsey Snow. <laughs> Seriously. Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very important. I was going in my house anyway. In my hall, or whatever you want to call it. I just... I got a bad feeling.
Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? Nothing we want, what bitch. Want. Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Oh, fuck. Lord Bolton. Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. Oh, oh no, they won't. The Ironwood. But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You actually can. You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord, half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble. Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the King's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. How did they get in? The gate was closed. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. That's. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. We have a little Frightened, are you? Lord, Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Twins? Like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. Huh. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Oh, oh hell no. That's enough. I need you to let go of my you sister. Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. 
Aren't you the bold lord? <gasps> what have you done? Oh my god! A bold lord. Far too much trouble. No! Oh my god! Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? Oh my god. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. No! Uh, uh, the little one. Thank you for any trouble. Oh my god! Lovely meeting all of you. Oh, you stupid motherfucker! Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mother! Please, stop! Let him go! Let him go! Oh my god. Even if he's dying, he wants to protect this little bro. Oh my Oh my god, y'all. So that was episode one. Wow. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. Damn My right. sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. John Snow! Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Damn. Wow, okay, so you and 43.9 left Bowen in behind. You and 31.7 swore loyalty to Marjorie. You and 38 sent Eric to the wall. You and 64 picked Duncan as Sentinel. Yeah, I mean, the other guy, just no. You and 40, 42% met Ramsey at the gate. So with... Most of these, I chose the lesser of the two options. If it was between two options, I'm not 100%. So, that's interesting. Alright, so that was episode one. Um, I did it in a three-parter, so this is part three. At the end, I planned to start episode two. And do that one as well, and hopefully have it up tomorrow. Um, so this is Green, and I will see you all next time.